this area of campus, I mean, this might be the most glaring difference when you compare the old student center to what we see now. Like, what is your favorite part about what this is going to be like? Well, I walked through this a couple of weeks ago with a hard hat on. Uh, you start with our old alumni gym, I think built in the 1920s. That's the birthplace of uh, Kentucky's historic tradition of excellence in basketball. That is going to be a spectacular 40,000 foot fitness center. We preserved all those magnificent windows. You'll be able to look outside as you exercise. Uh, next to it, the 1930s first uh, student center with the historic ballroom there. And then everything going away from that is all new. So I uh, particularly like the symbolism of Martin Luther King Boulevard starts at the other end of town, it ends here, it intersects with the Student Center, and you'll walk in right there to our Martin Luther King uh, Cultural Center. Uh, you know, a hub of uh, diversity, inclusion, that sense of belonging we're trying to create on campus. And then the meeting facilities, uh, dining facilities uh, are superior to any you'll find anywhere. Fantastic bookstore where you can certainly get Kentucky memorabilia, uh, but it's a place to retreat, have a good cup of coffee, uh, read your favorite book, browse. And I have to say, you know, again, so many people have to come together to make this happen, but a key individual I uh, almost remember every day, because what a sweet and generous man is Bill Gatt. He made a, a gift at a critical time so that we could launch this project and do it in a way that didn't add to student cost. Uh, many people have to slap additional fees uh, to cover rec centers and student centers. Uh, we didn't have to add an additional one, thanks to his gift. So. You know, people that he gets to meet now and people far into the future he'll never know are going to be beneficiaries. And to me, that's the highest form of giving. And that is, you know, where the beneficiary doesn't necessarily know the identity personally of the benefactor and the benefactor doesn't know the identity uh, of the beneficiary. And it's fitting that that would be where the students will, will be. Uh, it'll be a living room, but it too will be a, a hub of creativity and entrepreneurship. You know, in the center is, uh, many people refer to them as black box theaters. We, we call them a blue box theater here. And you'll be able to have performances in the round. Uh, you'll be able to have lectures, dinners, you name it, you'd be able to do in there in a unique space. Why, um, why was there a need for a social, physical transformation on campus? Well, the, you know, the original parts of the Student Center, I think, had some architecture and features that you'd want to keep. Uh, but when we looked at the subsequent additions, uh, they just didn't work in our time. So rather than patch those up and make minor changes, uh, we wanted to undertake something dramatic uh, that would last generations. What do you hope you'll see when you walk in to the new student center next year? Well, to me, uh, it's almost a, I say our library is a sanctuary of learning. Uh, this is going to be a sanctuary of relationships um, where you gather as community. And it's a facility not just for our students, faculty and staff, but for the community of Lexington. I can see us coming together in some spaces that you can't find uh, too frequently um, to create special memories. I know that a lot of times people will only think about academics or only think about housing when they think about a university. 
but the social aspect of it is really important, right? You know, it's been 50 years since I started college. Um, but when you live on campus and you talk to students a lot, um, it uh, helps you better remember those times, which all in all are very positive for me. But I also remember some of those days that were challenging. You know, it's your first time away from home. You have a degree of independence you haven't enjoyed. It's a time to, to step out on your own. And some days you make steps you wish you hadn't made or you wish you could have back. But it's a supportive environment, I like to say, for even on those days where uh, you weren't your best self. And it's a place that you learn from your mistakes from people who care about you, who have great hopes for your future, um, who become really family to you. And that's what makes the University of Kentucky special.